This is just mine. It's like staring up at like a house that's two stories tall. <laughs> Welcome to the penultimate episode of our virtual road trip. We're in the city of good vibes, dude. Ah, yes. Chill out, guys. We're in San Diego. It's good vibes only this week. We are in San Diego, America's finest city. And I am feeling the holiday vibes right now. The sun, the sea, the mm. beach. Oh, this oh. is what I'm talking oh. about. Oh. Fair play, Jamel, fair play. You are a better actor than me, my friend. Let's get started. Standing on the stage, got the whole place rocking. It's popping, no stopping. Standing on the stage, got the whole place watching. Vacation, hotel hopping. I'm a big deal, I'm a, I'm a big San Diego is the ultimate holiday destination. Surfers, skaters, hippies, it's all peace and love, baby. So we thought we'd speak to somebody who embodies that spirit. Chris, hello and welcome to our virtual road trip, San Diego time. How are you and what's the weather like over there? I'm doing fantastic. The weather is sunshine and warm water. So no complaints over here. All right, Max, so he's rubbing in the good weather. So can you just let us know what it is exactly you do? I am a surfboard designer, surfboard shaper and surfer. I was shaping a surfboard with Matt Strong uh, last year. Nice. That was super cool. What's the biggest wave you've ever surfed? Probably one or two in Hawaii that were a um, couple stories. How big is two stories? It's like it's like staring up at like a house that's two stories tall. Now here's the thing, Chris, yeah? I'm terrified of open water, yeah? But talking <laughs> to you about surfing, yeah, I feel very confident. I'm like, I could, I could learn to surf. San Diego is a perfect spot to do it. So if you come, okay. please, let's go. I will get you standing up in less than an hour. Cool, hold on. Less than that. an hour. I'm gonna write that down. I'm writing that, that down, Jamel. That. Well, it sounds like the people of San Diego are laid back, but the baseball team certainly isn't. How would you sum up the Padres season? They found their groove this year. They found their like cohesiveness and they found this like love for one another. And you could see that on the field. And you saw everybody doing well, like everybody stepping up at different times. Chris, talk to us about Fernando Tatis Jr., okay? He's one of the most naturally athletic baseball players I've ever seen. Um, he has a really good flow. Um, his, his fielding is just as good as his bat. Um, he's got a huge future ahead of him still, so. Yeah, yeah he, he let off an almighty backflip against the Cardinals in the wildcard round, one of the greatest highlights of the season. Do you think, Chris, he could flip a surfboard with equal ability? Because I want to see that. Yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah, he's the guy. Chris, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us here. Yeah. Um, I would really appreciate some surfing lessons, so um, I'm just going to hold out for that. All right? And um, <laughs> we will you see you it. on the beach very, <laughs> very, very soon. Thank you. Please. Thanks, Chris. What a dude. Yes, what a dude. And we're keeping up those good vibes. So we thought we'd recruit a celebrity fan with a seriously Positive attitude. Yes, gymnast, Olympic medalist, and massive YouTuber. This guy is perfect for San Diego. It's Niall Wilson! <laughs> Niall, welcome to our virtual road trip. Thank you for joining us. How are you doing? I'm fantastic, Jamal. Fantastic. So, now, what's your, what are your first assumptions when it comes to San Diego? Do you feel like you'd fit in to the laid back lifestyle? Yes, my life is very unorganized, but also I'm chilled. I'm very chilled, like, whatever. What's the most structured thing in your life then? Like, you know, because everything's so laid back, is there anything that is just a slight routine? The time I have to go to the gym, and that's about it. I actually quite, I feel more at peace and more organized in chaos. <laughs> the, the formula's not broken. Well, as you can hear, our Niall has a bit of an accent. So here's a hypothetical one, mate. Would you rather live in San Diego or Leeds? <laughs> sunny Leeds, mate, every day. Sunny Leeds. <laughs> Does it get warm up there or is it just sunny? It's not in the summer, but I suppose, yeah, I'm, I'm missing that hot weather. We'll see when I go to San Diego, I may just stay there and never come home. Well, we knew you'd be right for San Diego because some of the things you do on your socials require a ridiculous level of chilledness. Let's talk through a few of them. So now your dad played a starring role in this one. Yeah. <laughs> She's a oh. That's unreal. <laughs> it's unreal. It's so good. 
I felt at the time my life was in my dad's hands. <laughs> but anyway, I went for it, and with that video that you see, it was first try, so that's why we reacted the way that we did. Oh. This really freaked me out when I saw it yesterday. Um, do you have normal shoulders, Niall? Yeah, this one's wild. <laughs> This one's oh wild. Um, I'd say the answer, the answer is I've not, I've not got no shoulders. So when we're kids, we basically push through those movements and it hurts, it hurts every time to try and like have more mobile shoulders to be able to put ourselves in these positions. Um, it's, it's like a twisted bread. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> twisted bread. It's our man. Love what it's our man right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the package. <laughs> Chop like groceries. Absolutely nothing to him, just like a handbag. But he rocked up, just went, just, just went into the toilet on the sly and then came out in that lovely. <laughs> if we move on casually to the next photo, you know we've got Eddie Hall in a very, uh, I'd say, very tasteful position. Um, world's strongest man to world's <laughs> sexiest man. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Just need a little OnlyFans in the corner there, and, you know. So now, one of the star players at the moment in baseball is Fernando Tatis Jr. But don't take our word for it. Let's take a look at it for ourselves. So how would you incorporate Tatis Jr. and all that comes with baseball into your vids? Because we've just seen that you've got hula hoops going on and all sorts. <laughs> Man, I just need to collab with him. We could you link me up? Oh, we'll try, we'll try. He can already do he can already do a backflip. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna have to start. We could have to step it up again. Yeah. Now we've seen what you can do when it comes to your gymnastics, but you might be surprised that some baseball players have some gymnastic skills of their own. Yeah. So we put together some clips, the most outrageously flexible players we've ever seen in baseball, and we want you to rate them out of ten. How does that sound? Let's go. Let's play graceful baseball. First up, we have Manny Margo with a full-on forward flip. And he catches the ball. That's so dangerous. He could have like scorpioned on the other side. He's okay though. He's okay. He's okay. He got the out as well. That's like a nine out. That's a nine. Nice. Put your body on the line for a nine. Here's Jackie Bradley Jr. more or less flying to catch it at the back wall. Oh my god. Yes, I knew that. that is look at sick. that. He's, he's, he's not even looking at the wall when he, it's like he's got yeah. like eyes in the back. He of just head. knows, yeah. He's 10 out of 10. This is your mate Fernando Tatis Jr., Niall, with this uh, jumping, spinning catch followed by a roll. Oh, oh. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> parkour. <laughs> that was sick. It might have been a slightly style point. But it was just, it was his exit <laughs> sort of strategy once. So, but I, I, it's not as impressive as the other cats, so I'll give it that sort of an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Okay, so in this one, the runner needs to avoid being touched by the catcher as he's running towards home plate to score. Check out the dive, Nile. Oh my god. He's lost his helmet and he hasn't even got bothered to go and oh, pick no. it up. He's oh, real. The way he's jogging off, you can tell he's hurt. You can definitely, you <laughs> yeah. can tell. He's definitely pulled something. I've got to give that a 10. I've got, he's, he's done a full on wow. dive yeah. roll over a block. I think we've got to decide between the home plate flip and the catch by Jackie Bradley Jr. at the wall. They both got 10. It's got to be Chris. With the home run, dive roll, painful but not painful, loss of the helm. Styled out. Styled out home run. Because it has the most gymnastics element. All the catches were really impressive, but he's full on just jumped over a human and flipped. <laughs> Now we've tested you and you've passed. It's now official. You are now a San Diego Padres fan. How does it feel? Yes. Woo! Fan. We're all matching. Buddies. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. It feels awesome. <laughs> look, watching those clips, though, I love that game. I, I want to start. I want to start understanding the sport. I'm watching it genuinely. Fortunately, I don't have to decide who I support because you guys have done that for me. You're welcome. <laughs> You're completely welcome. Well, now it's been a pleasure. Try and stay in tact, will you, for the rest of the year, and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks so much for having me. Wow, Niall, amazing gymnast. Love it. Max, what do you think? Amazing. There you go. But you know what else is amazing? This guy, when he delivers what you're about to see next, it's the quick pitch. 
This is it people, the 116th World Series is underway, the two best teams in baseball this season, the Tampa Bay Rays and LA Dodgers are battling it out for October glory. First of four wins takes home the Commissioner's Trophy and after two games, the full classic is tied at one game apiece. Hickey swings it right one to right field. Back out of his bets, to the wall, it's gone! Mucky Lynn Betts, Mr. MLB himself, is at it again. In the Dodgers opening 8-3 victory, Betts had a belter. He's the first player to hit a home run, steal two bases and score two runs in a World Series game. Mucky, what next? Mookie Betts is doing nearly everything. Do you ever find yourself wondering, how might I catch a rocket? Well, we've got the answer for you. Get yourself a glove and a big man. Take it away, Victor Gonzalez. Oh my God. Nino can't believe it. I don't think anybody can. This was a rocket. Cody Bellinger walloped to long ball for the first runs of the World Series, and he celebrated accordingly with what is now universally known as the LA foot tap. Next stop, Broadway. Here comes the uh, foot tap. I guess the shoulder's okay, John. Shoulder's okay, but that should be their celebration from now on. Speaking of wallop, Brandon Lau had himself a night to help tie the series for the Rays. Two long balls for the second baseman gives Tampa Bay more home runs in a single postseason than any other team in history. Mash away, Mr. Lau. Mash away. And out of bed. Swing and a fly ball, well hit into left field. Going back is Taylor, all the way back towards the wall. It's gone! A two-run homer for Brandon Lau, his second of the night. Game three of the World Series starts late on Friday, 1 a.m. BST, 2 a.m. CET. Make sure you comment below with your predictions, and if you miss any of the action, MLB Europe has you covered every single day. And the Rays have evened up the 2020 World Series. Postseason has me so bad. Ah, me too, Jamel. Me too. I'll give you some more good news, mate. More good news. Our MLB 60 Home Run Derby Challenge is coming up right now. And we will see you guys next week. Yes, people. It's your boy. Welcome back. This is MLB 60 Championship Challenge for the Home Run Derby. This challenge and many others are available on the MLB 60 app, so make sure you check it out. Yes, and don't forget, today's winner gets one run added to their score for next week's big five-on-five -five face off Ooh. on Team Max, the one that always wins. We've got Corey and Bullet from Track Mafia and Bat Flips and Nerds with Jamel. We've got Rob and Russell. In the Home Run Derby, each player will have one minute to hit as many balls as they can over the boundary line without bouncing. Are we ready to hit some home runs? Let's go. Ah! Your time starts in three, two, one, go! <laughs> oh, yeah! Max. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, got What's that? Seven? Five? Thank you. Let me know when you lot are ready to play. There is no way. Are we all watching the same game? In three, two, one, underarm! Weak, it's like waste of time. Nice, strong start. Whoa, Whoa, that's gone. That's four. Jamel, five runs to win. No pressure, my friend. Bennett, he's gone. Short. Short. Uh -huh. It's short, is it short? It's short, it's short. Hit the line. Hey. I don't think hey. that's going to hit the line. Let's go. I don't think. Let's go. Winners dance. So next week is the big game. The winner takes all 5v5. And I'm sad to say that Max's team are currently in the lead. It is a huge game. This time next week, we'll know the winner. We'll see you there.